to, um, you know, uncomfortable with, with sharing what that experience is or, or whatever it might be, but she is so open and it's made such an impact and she is such an open book to so many, whether they're in her business or not. Um, actually, I have someone I need to connect you with uh, <laughs> tomorrow. Have all the time. Um, so I want people to hear what, what you've experienced sure. and what it's helped you with. Yeah, thank you for asking me because when this slide pops up, you know, we talk a lot about hemp and CBD, but this is my heart is with this cute core right here for so many reasons because they didn't even have hemp and CBD when I started um, the business back in March of, of 18. So I'm coming up on my two year anniversary, but um, so I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease in 2009, and I'll try to make it as quick as possible because it's a really long story <laughs> and I like to chit chat. <laughs> um, but at that time in 2009, I actually had been suffering for about two years. So by the time my diagnosis came, it was a 911 phone call by my five-year-old daughter and Andy was right at the hospital. And I was um, gravely ill, septic, fever, <laughs> obstructed, um, and had to be rushed into emergency surgery. My white count was high. Um, and at that time, I lost a little over a foot of my intestines and a large part of my colon. And my life has never been the same. And even though when I came out of surgery, they reassured me that I was gonna feel so much better moving forward, that really wasn't the case. <laughs> because I now had no gallbladder because that was taken out unnecessarily with a misdiagnosis. And that my plumbing was all jacked and I had a, a severe case of Crohn's disease, which in case you don't know, is an autoimmune disease that attacks your digestive tract from your mouth to your uh, rectum. So um, mine happens to be right dead center of my gut where a colonoscopy scope can't even get to where the bulk of my disease is. So we don't even really know what's going on there most of the time. Um, I was on a lot of hardcore medications, um, including most recently before Q came into my life, 2013 after the birth of my daughter till about 2015, I was on something called Remicade which is uh, every eight weeks I'd have to go to UW and sit and have a, an infusion for four hours. It's, they, my EOB said chemotherapy because it's basically chemotherapy. Um, and the side effects were wretched. Um, I lost an alarming amount of hair. I had open sores all over my face. And at the, same, at the time was in the same skincare business as uh, yeah. um, Hana and I was like, Let's try that music. Yeah. I, had, I mean, I really, it was really bad. I mean, if I showed you guys pictures, it would be, um, you'd feel bad for me. <laughs> um, but I had swollen glands all the time. I had bronchitis all the time because this drug happens to purposely shut down your immune system in order. So my Crohn's symptoms got much better, but I felt like I was dying every day. And I had four children to take care of, including, including a baby. Um, I had a daughter who was just diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, who I had to care for, which, so my health always kind of got, you know, put on the back door. But um, anyway, in July of 2015, I told the doctors at UW, I'm not taking this medication anymore. It's, I was so sick from the medication, I just couldn't do it. And they told me that if you stop this medication, you will have a colostomy bag in six months. But that scared me less than continuing to be honest with you. I mean, that's just, must have been the deal because I quit. <laughs> I stopped and I stopped seeing a doctor for about a year. And just before Q came into my life, because I had been off the medication for a couple of years, um, I was becoming symptomatic and I knew that I needed to go and get on something. And as a matter of fact, I had seen a new specialist. We had decided on a drug and I was to go, the insurance had approved it. I was going in to have an injection two weeks after Q was introduced to me. Um, and I called the office and I said, you know, and because I had Crohn's disease at that time for a good seven years, eight years, when I saw this, I knew how wonderful it was. So I knew the importance of absorption and micronutrients and biotics and omegas and anti-inflammatory, I have an inflammatory disease, and I had always taken good supplements because with Crohn's, you are micro, you're, you're nutrient deficient most of the time, you can't absorb. Um, and so um, I postponed my induction dose for my new drug. I started on the Q-Core Q-Max, and that was 
um, gosh, two years ago now, and I still have not taken one pharmaceutical drug since. Um, I didn't know how crummy I was. Sometimes you, your new normal, you thought it was normal, you just deal with it. You think this is just as good as it's gonna get until it gets better. And then it just started getting better and better and better. And then the hemp came into my life and then it just bumped me up another notch. And it's to the point, you guys, where I um, try so hard not to get emotional that it's difficult not to. And I just saw my specialist last week and because I do need to have routine checkups because I'm predisposed to cancer and all these things. I haven't had a colonoscopy in two years, which is not smart. So I've got all these tests lined up, but when I was sharing with him my history, because he's a new guy for me, statistically, because I've been off all medications for as long as I have, I should have had three subsequent surgeries since my last one. And he wanted to know what I was doing and how I was maintaining and doing so well. And I shared with him and he asked me to come and do a presentation because he's integrative medicine so he works with, uh, he's a GI specialist, but he works with a naturopath and a dietitian and a nutritionist. And I'm gonna be presenting to his entire staff on their lunch hour because he is, um, even though I need to still be treated, he's amazed at how well I'm doing statistically. I'm, I'm basically like um, something special. <laughs> because of Q Sciences products. Um, and I did go without them for about two weeks uh, back in September, and I will never do that again. Yeah. Because sometimes you don't know how good something's working until you stop it. Yeah, it's true. And it was not the smart. Mm -hmm. So anyways, that's kind of my quick story, but thank you for listening. And um, I'm not the only one. There are many people in my shoes and with other autoimmune um, inflammatory issues so that have the same success as I'm having. It's yeah. not a cure, but boy, it sure does help your quality of life on a daily basis. Yep. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you for asking. So important. Um,